iron bowl had just been shunted into the locomotive facility. We'll keep you here for a few weeks, said a workman. We'll run some tests on you to make sure you're in fine condition to be sent home. Oh, but I won't be going back to China, Iron Bull smiled. I'm going to live on a railway in Iowa. The workman scoffed. But it's true. I have been arranged to... No worries, I believe you, the workman said. It all depends on if he'll let you out of here. What do you mean? Ahem. Sir Brian Stanley quickly approached the workman. Oh, Sir Stanley, I didn't know you were coming today. Uh, how are you doing? I would like to have a word with you in private. Sir Brian Stanley walked away, with the workman following behind nervously. The other engine shuddered. I thought I had made it extraordinarily clear not to discuss such matters with those engines, Sir Brian Stanley shouted. You are not going to ruin my plans. It, it was a slip-up, sir. O honestly, the workman pleaded. No excuses. Need I remind you that you are under a strict non-disclosure agreement. No one from the outside can know about the true nature of this facility. He paused and composed himself. I will give you one last chance. If it happens again, not only will you be terminated, but Branco will use every legal resource available to sue you for breach of contract. Is that understood? Y yes, sir, the workman whispered nervously. Good, Sir Brian Stanley finished. Now get out of my sight. The workman quickly left the office. I have spent too much of my time and energy to have my plans fall through. And so close to completion. As far as I'm concerned, those engines are my property. No matter what any museum or railway or preservation group says. Because no one says no to Brian Stanley.